Hello everyone, we're back of course in Hearts of Iron 3. Now, as you can probably remember, let's go to the political map mode, where is it? Here we go. So, Anschluss has been completed, as you can see. So, let's look at Diplo, and as you can see, those are the next ones that are available to us. So, let's see. That's neutral territory. And what we're hoping to do is speed up things. Let's just keep that unlocked. And production, as you can see, plenty of artillery divisions. Now the trouble is, from what I understand, multiple guys said that if AA and infantry brigades will retreat as soon as they're attacked. So if we move those guys back a bit to work with the other infantry brigades, and at least they won't feel so... They won't run away if they're attacked, essentially. So... Turn that music down just a smidgen. You can see, obviously, where your production is going. Let's put that up to three or four, four at the moment. You can see, obviously, the Bismarck won't be ready until December and November 1940. Um, so it's possible we may want to change that. But at the moment, look at all this, see? All this additional artillery divisions. See, they're nearly built or nearly trained. And then we've got all of this lot here still to build. So I'm thinking that we need armor and light armor. So get some light armor brigades in there as well. And let's see, let's build them parallel, shall we? And we'll need some tanks. So they're all being built there as well, as you can see. Panzer divisions. You see there, light armor brigade and multiple armors. Now, let's see. Let's see, what can we do? So there's infantry 1936 Panzer. And let's see, can we put another light armor in there? So that's fine. And then we'll build some of those as well. And let's just close that and go back to our multi-rolls. Interceptor. Whoops, what's going on? Oh, good. Panzer divisions. It's all about the panzers. So, let's put some panzers here. Uh, so let's have a look. Thank you, Mr. Autosave. So here's some light armor. See, there's Panzer Infantry 1942, Panzer Grenadiers, Motorized Volkssturm. Yeah, okay, whatever. Air landing, paratroopers. Let's build five divisions of paratroops as well. Hmm, okay. But we can't because I guess we need more paratroopers. Oh, we, we haven't actually researched paratroopers correctly yet. If I correct, let's have a look. Paratroops. Pretty sure I had airborne infantry. So it doesn't, I'm pretty sure it enables me to construct, oh, here we go, artillery research. I'm pretty sure, why, where is paratroops in here? See, I'm not seeing any of them in here at all. Which means I must be missing something. Belgians cancelled trade agreement, yeah, that's kind of expected. Now, 
Can we move into there? No, because they're in neutral territory. So, let's have a look at our neighbours, Polando. Hmm. Okay. Not in a position to attack Poland as of yet. Okay. So, we're going to need more forces to come in. And, let's see. Diplo. Right, so. If I'm right thinking, artillery division. We shall place you there. And there's obviously two infantry brigades there as well. Along with a panzer and an infantry division there. So. Politics. Diplo. Comturn. These guys. Diplomat en route. So... We do not have the five. Oh, right. So if we go to technology. See, so espionage is there. Put that there. And put that there, I think. And the officer count is starting to go down. So let's put that there. So if we go to diplomacy, go to these guys. I do not have the five diplomatic. Okay, so I'm going to wait. Right, fourth artillery division. Let's put you guys there. So you can see artillery and anti air together. So that should be helpful. At least to cover those areas. So you can see, obviously, that everything is still being built. See, look 1939, 1939, 1939, 1939. So, in that respect, it's not looking too bad. Let's move them down to the bottom. And... Yeah, let's move these dies down to the bottom for the moment. Okay. And those two down to the bottom, so that we're getting as much... as possible in that area there see prioritize production there we go so these guys currently no progress on that project and let's see do we have yeah we got the ability to build cruisers but we don't have the additional bits and pieces we would like to have so have to wait and see how that goes so July 1939 hmm. okay so I'm guessing that we need that five diplomatic influence so I'm putting that up somewhat to try and get that diplomatic influence try and get that up if I can so hopefully that will get us into a better situation where I can then here we go. See, except. They're saying it's impossible, but we'll wait and see. Hmm. <sighs> okay. So. Obviously, what we've got is neighbours, Poland. 
and we can declare war. Hmm. Where is Poland? See, mostly drifting towards the Axis. Okay. No, don't want that. Okay. Hmm. All right. So you can see here, the axis, we've got Japan, Manchukuo, Italy, Ethiopia, and Menguko as well. Now, obviously, oh, they cancelled the trade agreement, the bastards. Um, you can see over here. Ooh. Volunteer surge. Now. Let's see. Should we mobilize? Okay. Okay. Right. Mixed industry. Specialized training, that's good. Okay. Italy, cancelling rare materials. Fine, whatever. And you can see it's now at August 1938. Let's see what Diplo says here. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. So, let's see. Is that Czechoslovakia? Let's see how... Let's see, they're our highest threat, or we're their highest threat. Um, finally, 62 needs to be lower than 25. Their neutrality and neutrality, their highest threat. Okay, so I'm thinking that what I need to do is go into intelligence, go into neighbors, go into Czechoslovakia. And attempt a coup. Damn. So let's see. William Canaris, dismal enigma. Who can we replace him with? Political specialist. Oscar von Hindenburg. Right, Chief of Staff. Right, School Logical School of Maneuver. We'll keep with Ludwig Beck. Chief of the Army. Let's make old Hittles. Raider can stay. Great Compromiser. Ribbon chop. Minister of Security. Let's have our gobblers in there as well. And Chief of the Air Force will remain as Old Herm. Okay. There we go, political intent, uh, combat, yes, threat impact, Goebbels and Goering. Okay, so, let's see what happens, shall we? Because I'm thinking I might be in a position to, once these 
production things are completed. Some of these things here. There's mounting brigades. And then obviously these panzer divisions as well. I'm on up in the list as well. So we'll see. February the 10th, 1939. Hmm. <sighs> hmm. See, what I don't understand is why I can't... neutral territory. I was able I wonder if I can influence Poland to come towards the Axis and also influence those guys. Okay. And influence the checks. See how that works out, shall we? Poland, Switzerland, Czechoslovakia. Okay. So that officer ratio. I gotta do something about that is gonna improve slowly. Okay. So, if I want to build paratroopers, I thought it would be that one. Airborne infantry. Where are they? I thought I already built them. Right, let's have a look. Right down the bottom now. And they should be right up the top. Okay. And these guys are your marine infantry. Need to be up the top as well. Marine infantry. Okay. Okay. Put that back in and pop it up the top. There we go. So, as you can see, our diplomatic influence, our espionage. Okay, so that's increasing it by that number. And that's good. So, let's see what happens as Diplo. Hmm. No idea what that means. Hmm. 
It's just strange that Declare War is now available and it wasn't earlier. Maybe it's because of that wasn't available. We'll see. So we can't really conquer Czechoslovakia, but we could potentially conquer Poland at some point very soon. So let's just speed that up a little bit more. See, because you see, the production will continue apace. Exactly like that. National decisions available. The first Vienna Award. What is that? Okay. Annexed, uh, Czechs have been annexed. Ah, the swallowing of the Sudetenland. Small group of Slovakian patriots around Tiso, Miroslav, forcing them to proclaim an independent Slovakia. They started to move, so... We now have Slovakia. Oh, crikey, look at that. Or most of it, anyway. So that's good news. And then we'll move these guys in as well. Move those guys down, I think, and these guys down as well. Oh, we're getting by Hungary. Hungary, Hungary, Hungary. Hungary. We invite to faction. Except. Welcome, Hungary. Together we shall crush the Bolsheviks. Oh, England has guaranteed the independence of Poland. Ribbentrop asked the Poles for the return of Danzig and the strip of German territory for the Polish corridor on which the German German run road and railroad can be built. Hitler met real resistance. British and French guaranteed the borders of Poland. Encouraged by the guarantee, the Poles were not about to compromise. The position of the Soviet Union became critical. Stalai allied himself with Britain. Germany who ran the risk of a two front war. She pushed the world to conflict. British attempts at negotiation with the Soviet Union were lackluster. For ideological and practical reasons, Stalin had purged thousands of officers from the Red Army, and the Soviets were perceived to be a third rate military force, as the Finns kind of proved. Was also unwilling to be pushed into a war. Then the Nazis pulled the Manfred von Schoeder called a stroke of courage. They signed their own treaty with the Soviet Union, their greatest ideological enemy. So, let's see. Okay. So let's have a look. Diplomacy. Let's look at us. And Slovakia is a puppet. Okay, that's fair. So that means we could potentially move these guys here. Hmm, interesting. And let's move this guy down here, I think. And. We shall wait and see what happens. Oh! Australia has joined the Allies, interesting. And we've now got construction of paratroops, so... Production. Division. Paratroopers. You beauties. Start producing some of them buggers. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, that means we should start producing quite a few of these guys. And let's see. That's at zero, that's at zero, that's at zero. Put that up to full. Put that down. So you can see here. Plenty of goodness. So, let's see. Oh, auto saving. Oh, what's this? The War of the Worlds? Oh, yeah. I've actually got a recording of that. That's pretty cool. 
What's this? Mr. Schmidt, BF109. Okay, go on then. So, we'll see. First, that's the date 9 took damage when Germany annexed Czechoslovakia and time destroyed. Few still remain. Dire need of repairs. No need for repairs. They are useless. So we can... Okay. Ooh. Poland is mobilising. Okay. France is mobilising. Okay, well, let's... Let's mobilise. As Poland mobilised first and France mobilised first, so... Apparently mobilisation is very costly. Yeah, whatever. So, single engine airframe advance, small tank advance, good. So let's see what happens. Okay. Mm, no, I'm going to wait. I want more of these troops in position. I think I'll wait till March. Okay. Uh, okay, they've cancelled. Let's see how things go. Money is okay. Good. Aircraft carrier being improved. Aircraft hangar advance. National decisions. Ooh. So here we go. Hitler and Stalin sign a non aggression pact called the Molotov Ribbentrop Treaty. Secret protocol was defined the spheres of influence. Germany and Russia would have successful invasion of Poland. According to the agreement, Russia would have control over Latvia, Estonia and Finland, while Germany would gain control over Lithuania and Danzig. Poland would be partitioned into three major areas. The Vortland area bordering Germany would be annexed outright to the German Reich. All non-German inhabitants expelled. 77,000 square miles of eastern Polish land with a population of over 30 million would become Russian territory. The central area would become a German protectorate naming the central German government governed by German civil authority. So that's interesting. As you can see, that changes a lot of things. And what's this? After immense pressure, German forces, Lithuanian government, teams can get to MML and sign the non-aggression pact. So there we go. There we go. There we go. So... That means then, I wonder how our Diplo is against Poland. Let's see. How is production? Let's unpause that. What's this? In uh, Italy annexed Albania. Okay. Where's Albania? Okay. Ah, there it is. Okay. We've got large bomb advance, strategic bomber advance, and Italy cancelled the trade agreement. So, big diddly do for that. Lithuania. Marine infantry. Fantastic. Nationalist China. Ooh. That's helpful. So. We should just have to wait and see. And I think if production uh, continues, I think around March, around that period, 
I will be in a position to invade Poland. Okay. See, four engineering in France. Radar. Oh, you beautiful, beautiful thing. So, we have got radar, meaning what I might do then is in Cologne build a radar station and continue Canada cancelling trade agreement. Yeah, that's not exactly unexpected. Ugh. See, <clears throat> these guys take it so long to build. There's just not enough production capacity available. Oh, error engine advance, Brazil, submarine training, trade interdiction. Good. Oh, what's this? Ah, Panzer divisions, you beautiful, beautiful things. So, let's put one there. And let's put another there. So those guys can force their way through. There we go, they're artillery and infantry, so we'll put them there. Okay, so, things are looking up. And there's the, obviously the SS Verfangstrup. Oh god, I don't even know if my production, my uh, pronunciation is even correct there. So we've got more troops here. Another Panzer Division. Which I'll put there. Keep those two Panzer Divisions working together. Actually, no. If we move one there, and we move one there like that, then that'll be a combination of combined arms. A combination of combined arms, which would then be combined to make the benefits of having combined arms combined. We're just combining things. So, let's put these guys here, and these guys here, I think. So, let's see. Aha! More armoured brigades. One there. There we go. And I think that will end the episode as I think if we look at all the organization of all of my guys along here, I think the next episode will be the attack on Poland. So I think I'll do it as a limited war and we shall see you next time for the next episode of Hearts of Iron 3. See you next time.